Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be my 2016 reading goals slash life goals. So for my goals for 2016, I have a bunch of like broad goals and I have them in three categories written down. So I guess since this is my book tube channel, I'll start off with my reading goals and goals for this channel. I'm sorry if you hear the buzzing noise outside. Uh, it's pouring. I don't know why they just randomly started to make construction noises. So hopefully that stops soon. So this year my Goodreads reading goal is 50 books. I'm dropping it down quite a bit. Uh, last year, 2015, I had 100 and I completed it. I'll put my final number here and I included graphic novels, novels, and manga. So I will just count novels here, graphic novels here, and manga here. So you kind of get how many of each I read. And 50 might actually be way more than I can read. I might lower it down throughout the year. Not really sure since I will be a first time mother and I don't know if I'll really spend much time reading novels. I'll read a ton of, ton of children's books but I don't know what I'll read for my sort of books. So for books that I read in a month, um, I'll still do TBRs and wrap ups and everything but I will also include what I read to the baby and I'll include the baby books and parenting books that I'd be reading and am currently reading but I haven't done anything for parenting books yet. I guess I'll do a separate video for that soon. On this channel I'm hopefully going to put more videos up. Uh, you'll notice lately that I haven't really put many videos out and I haven't really spent time editing the videos very well or putting any thought into them so I would like that to change. I would like to put at least like I would like to put one or two videos up a week, hopefully two, and I want to get more creative with my videos. I want to spend more time thinking about what I'm going to say in them, I'm going to spend more time editing them, and I just want them to be higher quality. And there's one thing that I've been doing lately in videos that really bugs me, and I, I always get distracted by things so I'm not really looking at the lens. I want to try to remember to always look at the lens, it just looks better in the video. And I want to put all this effort in, but I don't want to get stressed out about it. I don't want to get stressed about reading my 50 book goal for this year. I don't want to get stressed about if my subscriber count isn't where I want it to be. I don't want to get stressed about views per video. I just want to enjoy it. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy reading. I enjoy leaving comments on other people's videos. And I enjoy responding to comments on my videos. So I just want to do more things for this channel that I'll enjoy and not get stressed out about anything. And I mentioned in a few videos ago that Alex and I wanted to do a vlog channel. And I was going to vlog New Year's, but I forgot my camera. So we want to start a vlog channel. I've been trying to brainstorm uh, channel names for Alex and mine's channel. If you have any suggestions for a fun channel name, leave it in the comments below. I'm having a hard time thinking of one. I have like one idea so I'll ask him and see if he likes it and then that might be it. And so yeah. <laughs> so for this vlog channel I just want to try to start making vlogs uh, once a week. I still have to get Alex to sit down and film an introduction video with them. So I think I might start that Saturday. So hopefully starting this weekend we'll do videos for our vlog. And what we're thinking is we just film for a whole week and just make like a weekly vlog. We'll see how that goes. It's probably gonna be super, super awkward for the first bit. So if you cringe while watching it, I'm sorry. It's gonna be awkward. We probably won't really film like walking around like this outside because we'll probably just feel so awkward. But you never know. We'll see how that goes. These are my personal ones that don't really have anything to do with YouTube, BookTube, nothing at all. And the first one is to have a healthy and safe delivery. I really hope it goes well. Nervous for it, but I just want it to be safe and I want the baby to be 
safe and healthy. So this one isn't just for this year, but I want to be a good mother and I want to enjoy every moment of it. And even though I'll be stressed out and sleep deprived, like I've been warned, I just want to enjoy all of it. Alex and I are getting married in August and I just want to enjoy the wedding. I don't want to be stressed out about the details or be a bridezilla. I just want to have an easygoing, relaxed and fun wedding. After the wedding, I just want to have a romantic honeymoon and just hang out with Alex and we might go camping for a honeymoon for like one of the nights and then the other night stay in a nice hotel. That's what we did for our last anniversary and it was really fun. So we might do like the same sort of thing this time because we really like camping. Another one that I think is really important is to be with the family for all of the holidays. And especially this year, we're gonna have a new baby. I just want both sides of our family to be together. So Alex's family and my family just to spend every holiday together. And it's gonna be easier for me to actually do that since I don't work this year. But for everyone else working, that might be a little hard to arrange, but I really hope it actually happens. Those are my 2016 goals for my book channel and our future vlog channel and my personal life. So thank you for watching my 2016 goals. If you have any of the same goals, comment below. And if you like any of my goals, if you have any other goals that you have and I don't have, just comment all below. I like reading comments and commenting back. So yes, thank you and my legs are numb, so. I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs>